A Milwaukee man was just leaving Walmart when a stranger with a smile on his face smashed him in the head with a hammer. Good evening. I'm Angelica Thornton in for Deb Knapp. And I'm Steve Dunn. Good evening. The attack happened in the Walmart parking lot on Southeast 82nd and Clackamas yesterday afternoon. On your side, investigator Dan Tilkin is live in Oregon City where he saw the accused attacker in court. And Dan, the victim says he feels like he won the lottery? Well, you'd think that he'd feel unlucky that he's attacked, but this disabled Vietnam veteran and throat cancer survivor feels so fortunate that other people stepped in to help him. And there also just so happened to be a nurse in the store who tended to his wounds after this unprovoked attack. I felt like I was being followed into the store. Despite that feeling, Harry Anderson had no clue what would happen when he left the Walmart a half hour later, headed to his car. Totally blindsided me, totally blindsided me, struck me in the back, it went boom, 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 not fast. Probably the whole assault probably lasted less than five seconds. Anderson says 31-year-old Jonathan Edward Jones first hit him in the back of the head with the claw side of the hammer, then swung again and hit him in the forehead. After he struck me the second time, he's coming in for the third time, he's smiling and laughing. He thought it was great. Anderson blocked the third blow, but it cost him a severe injury to his right hand. That fellow was going to try to kill me. If I was down on the ground, with the hammer he had, the way he sh was swinging it, I was dead meat. That's when another shopper stepped in and Jonathan Jones took off. Witnesses chased Jones to the nearby Sears Outlet store where deputies grabbed him. I certainly want to thank them personally when I get an opportunity to meet these people. Uh, I want to shake their hands by dinner because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. Investigators told Anderson Jones admitted he was on meth, but no one is sure why Jones zeroed in on Anderson for the attack. It could have been my disabled veteran slices plate. It could have been my Vietnam veteran uh, sticker. It could have been the color of my hair. Uh, he might have been envious because I'm so pretty. He somehow managed to keep his sense of humor through this whole ordeal. Now, that mug shot that we just showed you in the picture, that was when, uh, from when Jonathan Edward Jones spent time in a Washington state, state prison. He was there for several years for assault, robbery, and drug possession. Right now, he is on suicide watch in the Clackamas County Jail. Dan Tilkin, K2 News. Dan, thank you.